trademark sound with those, those excellent chops and all the triplets and everything else. Looking back at it, a lot of that was beyond, you know, before, sample, before you really started getting the samplers in there and everything else, how much of that was kind of on the, on the tape editing kind of block? Did you well, used to work with the other engineers for yeah, the, the, the chops the, and everything? Yeah, the, the chops check Nunez, Nunez did those edits. Um, I would supply the parts to him. And then what I what, over the years I started incorporating those basically those edits the way they sound like that is because the, the actual audio is being cut off it's not being able to transition or finish and yeah. it cuts off so it sounds like that's what gives it that special effect yeah um, and then I started doing some of that then I'd give it to some other guys to do it but then and I think it ran its course you know but it was there it was a sound and hey. I'm happy to incorporate that. I was happy to incorporate it and sort of make that the Mantronics trademark, yeah. you know. We've so many other product, you know, mm. so many other That was the like Rascals, though. Yeah, like that. they so did that the first, there. yeah. Um, they did the uh, first, I'm trying to think, I'm going way back. They did the first mega mix. It was, I think, yeah, Tony Moran, he did the edit on Baseline. That was their Latin Rascals. Yeah. He did it. Um, Tony did it, Albert, I don't know where Albert was at the time. And then Chef took over after that. Yeah, so. But I mean, even, even bef before those sort of tape edits, what you were getting out of the 808 and the 909 with all the triplets and everything else was next level shit. So, thank uh, you for that. Well, I think the ability was always there to do it, just that like nobody was doing it. Yeah. And I just took that, I was just pushing on to it. Um, yeah, I got a bit, I could see sometimes some, some other producers like the, um, the one that, well, I don't know if you, they, they keep sort of referencing back to this, with Space Machine, which, if you think about it, if you, with triplets, that's what they call trap today. Yeah. I mean, what I was doing back then was trying to be different, and I think, I think I got a lot of negative stuff from other producers, not necessarily people that rent the music, because it's like, what the fuck is this guy doing, you know? Um, but if you listen to it today, it's not that dissimilar to the, the stuff they call trap, yeah. you know. And it was, uh, and I think it was, I think it was Bryce Lover or one of my old rappers that hit me to it because I was living in the UK at the time, and I think when, before trap even was even heard, you know, he was saying, you know, these guys from down south they're using you, and I didn't quite understand what he was talking about. But then I think some of them even sampled bass machines. Yeah. Some of it still, still, still sounds so futuristic now. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Yeah.